All right, guys, I am back and we are going to start slash finish this other journal. Um, but I, this is going to be my crafty cat, um, design team project. I'm using her industrial kit and then I may be using some of her rusted numbers in this one. And then if I add a couple other kits, I'll tell you, um, what it is. Um, but in the description box will be a list to her shop. So then you can go over there and kind of see these. Um, I haven't actually flipped through um, these before. And I ended up backing these on um, one. Uh, I think these were Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts has a coffee, tea, and avocado dyed kit. Um, so I just backed them quickly with that. So this little kit is adorable. And it's a 17 page kit, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, I looked that up um, last week when I was going to film more for the weekend. And yeah, life is life, right? Um, so yeah. Um, and then this is her little envelope thing. And I'm gonna have to rewatch one of her videos to see how she uses these. Um, but we might do a couple of envelope pockets in this one too. But I adore this kit. I think it's just cool. And in this one, we're going to be using, <clears throat> um, I think it's Graphic 45. And um, those of you that have been with me for a while remember some of the pieces we've already made for this journal. Um, yeah, so I love these. And I haven't found, um, I have uh, an idea for some tags. Um, and we're going to try it, not in this video, but soon um and I think this is going to tie in to the coffee dyeing because I also have a shop share to do with um <clears throat> Amy's shop too so um yeah so we'll do that and I was hoping to find like a copper type paper but I have not had any luck finding any in my area um quite what I'm looking for so there's that and then, yeah, so, and I may, I don't usually, but I might be mixing, I have some, like, leftover pieces from, um, Susan Taylor Brown's, um, Wanted Posters, um, kit, so I might do a couple of ephemera pieces with that, so I'm not sure. So, and then these are the pages of ephemera that come in the kit, and as you see, I haven't cut those yet. Some pretty cool pockets and tags here. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited to get started on this one. Um, and I think for the most part, I'm not going to film the whole thing, um, but um, we'll go through a lot of it. Because I, I mean, I already have quite a few of the pieces made. I don't know if you guys remember these from a couple of months, well, it's actually, yeah, it's been a couple months ago now. Um, these little pockets that we made, and this is going to be at the three signature journal. So there's just different forms of the, of these pocket things here, um, that we made. Yeah. And this one, this one was one of my favorites and that, um, oh yeah, I did glue that down since it's been a few minutes since I made it, it's going to be hard for me to remember exactly what we did and where the pockets are so that'll be fun when we go to um put them in a journal in the journal not a journal <laughs> to remember where those are and then we made these funky little um crisscross pockets here um oh yeah oh yeah yep so yeah this one's also going to be kind of like a flippy flappy all over the place type journal. And like I said, I've got a couple of ideas. And then here are some of the pockets we made before. So yeah, um, we're just, I'm gonna kind of just create and then we'll just see. And then we made this board too, um, the writing board. So I've got quite a few pockets already ready for this journal. And if you remember, <clears throat> We made this cover in the cover series, and that's kind of around the same area as where we um, put the uh, 
the, um, or we made all those pockets you just saw. Okay, so and then this charm is going on the outside, but I didn't realize that I was going to do that until afterwards. So, and I have never put in one of these little loop things. These are the Tim Holtz Brad pieces. Um, so we're just going to pop this in and then I'll show you how I'm going to cover it on the other side. Um, so I wasn't sure exactly how to attach it. So I've watched a couple of videos and we'll, um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Um, so I need to finish gluing down this doily and then, um, we'll pop the hole in for that little, um, brad and then we'll clip the, um, the, uh, charm on and actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm thinking here on if it'll mess with it. Um, all right. I think I'm going to jump around a little bit. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute because I want to, oh, hold on. I want to show you how I, um, do spine, like, signature work to get started. So yeah, it's a three inch spine. Okay. So here's how I do finding like the perfect, the perfect thing or the perfect width and whatever. And actually I'm going to take my cutter and cut this little edge off here. So I hope you guys are all doing all right. Um, we have had a crazy busy weekend. And um, it's going to just be crazier for the day. <clears throat> I am going to record a couple of videos this morning um, and then go fix breakfast, clean up a little bit, and then Gracie and I are going to work on her quilt a little bit. Um, don't know that she has decided which pattern she's doing. Okay, so this is just like regular old graph paper. Okay. Okay, and I don't remember how tall this is it's probably nine yep nine inches so we're gonna cut our we're gonna make sure we cut off any little pieces that don't make sense here and you can do this by hand it's not oh, not necessary to do it oh, my cutter's off just a skosh so we'll just take regular scissors and just trim that off it seems like the thinner the paper, the more it does that kind of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to cut at nine inches here. Okay. Save that. Pitch the sliver. Get rid of the cutter. All right, so we have a three inch by nine inch graph piece. Okay, so then we're going to fold it in half long ways. Okay. Trying to be pretty accurate on lining them up. Okay. Really crease it down. And open it back up and you're going to fold each end to the middle. So, really crease that down. You're going to open it up again, and you're going to fold in like so. Okay, I got to re refine my line there. I didn't bring my glasses, so it's a little bit of a struggle this morning. Okay, so we have three creases there. And we're going to fold it in half this way. Okay, then we're going to open it back up. We're going to fold that line there. And then we're going to fold this bottom piece up to this line here. 
and this time I'm gonna, um, the last time I did it, it's, um, you still couldn't really see what was going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, sorry for the reach across the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do this so that we, we can see on camera what it is. And I'm running out of ink on there. Sorry, guys. Got the arm right in your eyeball. Okay. This should help us. Okay. So what we've essentially done is we've made obviously a grid pattern. So, oh, and I forgot to do the middle. That just one of you guys was yelling at me, huh? Okay. So for me, um, I don't know how quick you are at measuring, but for me, I'm not that quick at, you know, dividing out numbers and whatever for this kind of thing. So now I have three signature spaces lined out completely. It's centered from top to bottom, in between, sides to sides. So then, I think I'm going to go ahead and poke my holes now so that this isn't hanging up on my, like when I'm poking the holes later. Um, so what I do when I'm doing my signatures, like this, instead of my book cradle. Okay. As I just clip one at the top and one at the bottom, making sure it's pretty even. And then I take my awl and I poke in each hole. So, Sorry, got a little bit of that um, fragments of that doily in there. Sorry, I got really quiet there for a second, but I would think that you don't want to hear me grunting trying to get this through. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe you're into that kind of thing. No, I'm kidding. Totally kidding. It is harder, the, the longer everything sets, it is kind of harder to get um, things through. I mean, I think we made this cover at the beginning of June, either the end of May or beginning of June. Or maybe it was just May, I don't remember now. So much has happened since then. Okay, so before I take this off, um, I'm gonna go middle of this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine and a half obviously doesn't break out, so it's like four and a half. So let's go one, two, three, four and a half. And I'm gonna go ahead and go up to that next cross there, or intersection. And that's where we're gonna put our charm piece. All right, yeah, getting through that doily has been kind of a pain in the keister. All right, so here's what I did. I didn't double check to see front to back, which um, we'll just add something here for the back. 
since this is now at the top, this has now become our front cover. Again, not a big deal. They're pretty much the same except for right here, but we'll, I'll end up putting something on the front and the back then to kind of dress it up. Um, so yep, we just take that off and then, oh, here, here's what we got to do. The other thing that I do, because I'll use this to line out the signatures, I just put a one, a two, if the pen writes, a two and a three. So signature one, two, and three. Okay. Okay. And I just jumped into that and I forgot to show you the other pieces from the shop share. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and I have no idea what I'm doing really with this piece here. Um, other than I've used Brad's before and I'm hoping that I get it right. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to use this to really kind of smooth it down and get it tweaked down in there as much as possible. I don't know if this is supposed to swivel or not. I'm going to make it to where it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to just take a little black piece of cardstock. just to reinforce it. Oh, shoot. All right, we'll have to see. I might have to re-glue another piece on there. Okay, toss those back up on the thing. Okay, and then let's see how it looks. I'm pretty excited. Oh, and my tummy's growling. So sorry if you can hear that. I didn't really, we went to my dad's last night to, uh, to a little party he had, and I didn't really eat a whole lot yesterday, and didn't really eat a whole lot last night, so this morning I'm like, of course, ravenous. All right, I think I love that. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, it looks totally different than anything I've ever done before. Oh, I do like it, I do like it. And this one's got, like, little dragonflies and stuff like that in there. Yep, I love it because we're making it more of a feminine industrial. Yes, there's a ton of men in there, but we're going to grilly it up. And I think I'm going to use some Tim Holtz figures too um, for like tags and stuff like that. So, okay. So I'm going to just set that aside while we're working on it. So that is the end for working on that portion right now. And I'm going to do the shop share. And then... Um, <clears throat> then I will let you go for the day and when we come back we will I will have already sewn in the signature um no no I don't think that we will I think that might be something we do together because we're gonna have to worry about placement with those um pockets and stuff so that'll probably be the next video okay so then or will it be the coffee dying I'm not sure so I ordered um I think Amy had these as something a little bit different in her shop. Sorry, Amy, I can't really remember at the moment. Um, but this is her lock and keys. So what I'm going to do is... Do I have a piece of paper? Yeah, there's one. Um, in the coffee dyeing video and stuff, you'll see it. I'm going to lay these on there and see what we get, okay? Um, and then she included for me, because I said, you know, those other, like blank pieces are probably going to work really well on there. So she included for me the, um, 
oops, like the, the blanks of those. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to put those down on paper and I'll probably have to use my little tweezers to keep them in, in place until they like set down in there. But yeah, so all the blanks to the keys and then all the blanks to the locks. And um, we're going to see if those work like the doilies do. Um, let me show you what the locks look like. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty cool too. So oh, not very, I'm going to have to put these in a little bit different thing, I think, because I'm too much of a klutz to keep them all nice in this. So yeah, she's uh, included all the locks, like the negative, or see that would be the negative and these would be the design. So yeah, all of these. So I think they, it might look pretty cool on the coffee dye like I do the, the lace doily things. And then I got, and then she sent the negatives for the numbers too, that's right. Cause, and then I have the bigger, um, or smaller, I should say. Um, piece here. So then she sent the, I guess it's not really negatives, right? I'm not sure how you would classify these, but these are the different numbers that she has in her shop, but it, they're out of that plastic that she does for the stenciling. So yeah, we'll lay some of those out on the coffee dye and see what we get there. And then, oh, it's not going to come apart. So I'm just going to have to open them, I think. Maybe it will if I go from this. Open. You know what would be even cooler? Is if I just went like this and cut it. Right? Okay, and then she sent me... <sighs> Why am I having such issues this morning? Probably because I haven't eaten and I'm a bit shaky. That could be a total reason why. So yep, yeah, here's the numbers. And I'm gonna use them for stenciling and for the coffee dye. And we'll just see what we we'll just see what we get and see how cool it looks. And then she sent me some extras here, which will be totally cool. Isn't that cute? I love that six. 19 cents. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Let me put these little pieces back in here though. And then I ordered her beehive set, which we probably won't use on this journal, but I had a honeycomb one kind of, but it just wasn't great. Um, and I am super excited about these because they're different sizes. Um, so yeah, and then she sent the little extra she sent me is like the numbers and the little tag and a little bumblebee. And I'm pretty sure that's in her bee kit. A little card. Yeah, look at these. Aren't these adorable? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about having the different sizes. All right. All right, guys, that does it for me today. And I will be back shortly with a coffee dyeing video, um, provided that it doesn't rain again today because I'm going to do most of it outside. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.